Hi everybody. Hello there. Jerry. And Linda. We're the village's newcomers. And that's Gizzy. Yay. He's with us today. But I'm going to put him aside because this is a very serious video. And uh, <laughs> he wants to go over there anyway. <laughs> we made a great video for you guys. It was 20 minutes long, all about Medicare. And then we decided... Uh, too much information. Too much information. <laughs> We didn't really know what we were talking about, uh, so we've decided to make it shorter, simpler, sweeter. So bear with us, uh, and we'll tell you what we know about Medicare real quickly. We're approaching age 65. We were so lucky. When we retired, our school system was so happy to get rid of us <laughs> that they offered us a 10-year bridge from retirement to Medicare. So they, we were able to stay on the same exact medical plan. It was awesome. <laughs> and we won't be able to find anything like that. Well, we, we, we probably can find something like it, but it's going to be a lot more expensive. You know that song, uh, you don't know what you've got till it's, it's gone. gone. Mm -hmm. We were paying 300 bucks a year for a real good plan. Mm -hmm. Our maximum out of pocket was twenty five hundred dollars for any calendar year, so <sighs> that plan was really nice. Mm -hmm. Now we're investigating Medicare, and we're finding that it's not what we thought. We <clears throat> didn't realize yeah. that Medicare is not free. I had always thought that every time I got a paycheck and I saw that Medicare deduction, that someday Medicare was going to be free. Yeah, or they take care of us and be a really low cost, but. It isn't. Well, it's everything's relative, you know. Uh, if, if money's no object, you don't even care. But for us, every month we're going to have one hundred and forty-four dollars each taken out of our Social Security check to pay for Medicare, and you will too. If you make a lot more money than us, you'll have more taken out than one hundred and forty-four. And if you make considerably less, you might have a little less taken out. But that's a ballpark figure for you. So 144, but that's only for Part B. Now everybody's gonna get Part A hospitalization and everybody's gonna get Part B when you go on Medicare. After that is when the choices start. And one reason that we threw out that first video that we did, which took hours and hours to make, is that we went into great detail about different plans and we don't want you to think that we're recommending any certain plan for you or giving you any real advice. We're not giving you advice. We're just giving you a heads up. It's time to consider these things. She'll tell you, I read her all the emails. I go, I do the emails usually. Yeah. And she helps out. Good. She helps out on the girly topics. <laughs> uh, but that's sexist. <laughs> What do you mean? Girly topics. I don't know. Well, okay. Well, she, she, she does answer a few. But when we get emails that say, Jerry, Linda, we did it. We took your advice. We moved to the villages. Uh, or we'll get them to say, we closed on our house today thanks to you and Linda's videos. And we're really honored and humbled by that. But also, whoa. You know, don't make any life-altering decisions based on what we tell you. You know, we're just we're just having fun <laughs> and right. uh, sharing with you, and we won't lie to you. But uh, no. we certainly can't tell you how to run your own life. And the same thing with this Medicare. So quickly, I'm going to tell you what we have encountered. It's a big decision. She was she's our mail person. She goes through the mail every day. She has a stack of mail that high. Yeah. From people competing for our Medicare business. Right. When you turn 64, man, those offers are going to be rolling in. Yeah. And you won't know what to do. So we right now I'm going to encourage you to do what we did. We trust a gentleman back in our hometown of New Albany, Indiana, that has an insurance business and advises people on choices. And so he's been kind of guiding us through the process. But ultimately, the decision is going to be ours. And I may pick a plan. She may pick a different plan. Mm -hmm. But we're going to tell you just a little bit about what we're doing and, and make you aware that you're going to have to do this. You will start receiving Medicare benefits on the first day of the month of your 65th birthday. 
For me, for example, my birthday, let's say it was November 15th. You can start receiving benefits on the first day of the month of your 65th birthday. There is an enrollment period that is about seven months long. It's on three and three and a half months before your 65th birthday and three and a half months after. Now, we've always been very cautious when it comes to insurance. We want it. Yes. We would never go a day without car insurance or, or hospitalization, etc. So we're going to make sure that we do it all. But technically, if you miss the date, you can still enroll. But you wouldn't be covered, I don't think, for that window after, yeah. after the beginning of that month. So you want to make sure that that does not happen to you. One of the biggest decisions when you reach Medicare age is what kind of insurance. There are, there are lots more, and your insurance professional will tell you. But basically for us, the decision is, do we go with traditional Medicare? That would be parts A and B that everybody's going to have. Right. Or do we get part F, part G, part N? You know, those all are slightly different, and we have to decide which one. We also have to decide if we want Part D, that is your drug plan. With traditional Medicare, you're not going to be covered for drugs, except in certain, uh, certain situations when it would probably be involved with uh, you know, hospitalization, right. etc. cetera. But uh, you have to decide if you want a drug plan. And then there are these other plans that really throw a kink in the works called Advantage Plans. Advantage plans might come from uh, Cigna or Aetna or AARP or Humana. Lots of different companies sell these Advantage plans. They are attractive. They really look good. The Advantage plans have no premium. Now, you're still going to pay that 144 that I mentioned, yeah. but no extra premium. Whereas the Part F I mentioned, the Part G, the Part N, they all have premiums, and we'll talk about those real quickly. But the Advantage plans, which we are not leaning toward at this time, they may include dental. Yeah. What else? Vision. And uh, what? Well, hearing, hearing aids. Hearing aids, right. And what about uh, health clubs? They, yeah, they also, some of them have health club benefits. Mm -hmm. um, so there are some things involved there that you'd get with an Advantage plan that you would not get or would have to pay extra premiums for with traditional Tradition. Medicare. But for us, you know, it sounds, well, hey, that's the one I want, the one where you don't pay for and you get extra benefits. Right. That's what I always want. I always yeah. want a Cadillac on a Volkswagen budget. budget yeah. <laughs> so why wouldn't you want an Advantage plan? Well, a lot of times they're restricted geographically to a provider network that is not countrywide. Right. So if we want to travel, which we do like to travel, and like you may know from our earlier videos, we have Relatives. three children, yeah. and they're scattered around the country, and we want to go see them and visit them. And while we would hope never to get sick while we were doing that, you know, it can happen. So, mm -hmm. so we really want to have some freedom to select our own providers, etc. Mm -hmm. And you don't get that with the Advantage plan. Right. Now with the plan G that we, I said we are really looking at, that's not free. Each month that would be an extra payment of $166.13 for us. That would bring our total Medicare payment each month to $310 each. Mm -hmm. So that's a big effect and you're gonna have uh, the same thing. So that may be why an Advantage plan is more attractive to you. You would only have the 144, and your drugs would even be covered. We are going to have to buy an extra policy for drug coverage, and that is? Plan D. Plan D. Now, since we take relatively few drugs, it's only $14 a month. So that's not so bad. No. But still, that's another $28 a month to go on top of that 620 So about $650 a month. If you take that for a whole year, you're almost to $8,000 a year for health care. But mm -hmm. the good thing about Plan G 
there's only a deductible of $198 a year. And wow. so that's, that's good. So that's peace of mind. That's why we're looking at Plan G. We know we're covered anywhere in the country. We can pick any specialist we want. We can pick any hospital we want, right. as long as they accept Medicare. Right. So that's what we're in the middle of. We're in the middle of this enrollment period for both of us. We're about the same age. We're, uh, what are we, uh, 40 days apart? Yes, about 43, yeah. yeah. 43 days apart. Uh, so we're pretty close together. So we're going to make making that decision. So for us guys, we just wanted to kind of share with you and we've made a little list here and I've been going through it. I think we've covered it pretty good. You're going to be making the big decision. That decision is going to follow you for a long time. It is a decision that is permanent with a few exceptions. Uh, if you have a life changing event, you can change plans. But sometimes if you have developed or have a history of a serious problem, maybe it was a stroke or kidney disease, or maybe you have um, cancer. Cancer, 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 something like that, a new provider may not take you. But once you're 65 and you make your initial choice enrollment, you can uh, you can you will be accepted by uh, whichever company you choose. So that's why it's such a big decision at age 65. And we sure hope it uh, works out for you. It can be really complicated. There is an office here in Florida called Florida Shine that is uh, free and you can watch seminars online. Mm -hmm. You have a number to call for advice and talk to people that can kind of guide you through this uh, process. But that's it in a nutshell without getting too specific. You're going to choose between traditional and what they call uh, an advantage plan. Oh, by the way, another word for the traditional, when you add on, it's called a supplement or it can be called a Medigap plan. So you're going to get traditional with a supplement or you're going to get an advantage plan or you're going to stick with your present employer. But those are your choices. It's a big deal. We hope you make a wise choice. We hope we make a wise choice. Yeah. Until next time. See you when you get here.